Hello, we're here with the Smile Create Repeat April 2016 surprise. Uh, we're going to open it up and see what's in it. Let's see what we got. Welcome to Smile Create Repeat. You have a pencil with the logo so you remember where you got all this awesome stuff. Then we put in this, uh, this is the creative card. And this goes over the supplies that are in the box. And then it also gives you an art lesson slash demo um, and tips and tricks on how to use the supplies and maybe give you an idea of a project to work on. And of course all of our social media stuff, the contact information so you can share what you've made because we'd love to see what you got. And then there's some news on the back that we're, you can be featured in a postcard. Um, we have a summer sketch box coming soon and the pre-orders are coming up. And then of course share your work again. We really want you to share it so we can see what you're making with all this. Let's take out all the stuff. Got a bunch in here. These are some greeting cards. We got two of them. They're Strathmore 400 series mixed media cards. They're a heavyweight um, card. It's 140 pounds. And the heavier that poundage is, so an 80 weight paper would be thinner, a 140 pound weight would be a heavier paper. That'll be better for mixed media, so if you want to do some uh, painting on this with acrylics or watercolor or washes like that, they'll be better for that. And you have two postcards, some illustrations, and then it also talks about just the smile create repeat if you want to share this postcard with someone that you think might like it. That would be great, thank you. So then we have this. Have a nice wrap. Got the twine. And this wraps the supplies, but we also put this in so you can use this paper too, because sometimes um, it's nice to draw on a toned paper instead of just the white paper. Um, it gives you different effects and it's crumpled on purpose so you have the texture so you can utilize that in your um, in your creating. Um, so everything, you can use everything in the box. So the first thing we got, which we put in every box, is one of these Tombow Mono Pencils. Um, they're great. Um, I tried them out a few years ago when I was searching for pencils to, that I liked um, and I came across this and I've been using this ever since. Um, each month, this is a 4B, and each month we give you a new graphite uh, density one. So they go from 6H, which is the hardest, all the way down to 6B, which is the softest. And what that means to you is the harder the pencil, the lighter the line is. And where this is a 4B, when you're pressing down on this, you're going to get a nice rich dark black. Um, so yes, that's, that's a great pencil. The next uh, supply is an Artline Drawing System Point Three Pigment Ink Water-Based and Water-Resistant Pen. This has a really fine tip on it. Um, I picked, we picked this pen because I used it at an agency I used to work at drawing portraits. Um, and the portraits I drew were in the style of the Wall Street Journal head cuts. Um, and I just liked the way the ink flowed. Uh, the tip felt on the the paper. Um, it was just a really nice pen. So that's why uh, I hope you guys like it. I think you'll like it. It's And the, the really fine point is neat because you can get really small details. Uh, so I like that one a lot. Um, here's a, a Toya double-headed calligraphy marker. Uh, there's two two nibs on the two different size nibs on each one on each side. One's a three millimeter. One's a 1.5 millimeter. Um, it's a flat chiseled end. Um, and I used to do calligraphy for uh, quite a bit. Um, I did some invitations for weddings. Um, and I just always liked it. It's just nice to take the time to write. Um, and I have dip pens that I do calligraphy with also. But these markers are nice because you don't need to worry about the dip. Um, so if you're going to just take your sketchbook out and draw and then you want to add some words to it or something. Um, these are great for that. 
Now let's go with this. This is the Spectrum Aqua Marker. This is a water-based um, ink. Um, again, it's a dual tip. You have a nice fine point on it, which I really liked when I was doing the demo video. I was expecting the tip to be a little softer, but it's really quite firm, which was surprising. Um, but it has a real nice fine point. Which is funny because the other side is this brush tip. And I thought, I talked about this in the demo video uh, of the for the lesson, how the tip was mushy. And I said that I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And I say that again, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. It's just the way it is. So there's certain, certain tools have different qualities. And just like paintbrushes, there's soft paintbrushes and stiff paintbrushes. So you got to find the right tool for what you're trying to do. Um, and this one worked great in the demo, so I, uh, I liked it. And last, lastly, we have the La Plume 2 um, dual tip brush pen also. This tip is another really fine point for details, and I like that. And then it also has the brush tip, which was firmer than the Spectrum Aqua Marker. Um, so you could get a little more delicate line, fine line if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I liked them all. So that's what we have. That's the April 2016 Smile Create Repeat Surprise. I uh, hope you like it. If you have any questions, let us know. And uh, thank you so much. I hope you love it.